All right, so I've been doing a little bit of yard work here. As you can see, I've got some concrete blocks laid out into kind of a raised bed system. Might be able to see I've got some potatoes coming up. Yep, just planting crops that uh, don't mind the unfinished compost and don't require very much work. I'm gonna do something similar over here. I'll lay out some more blocks. See, I've already started. There's one issue I'm having though, and that's this area right in here. It never receives any sunlight. Nothing grows here, except for, you know, Siberian elm. But those grow literally anywhere. In fact, I had to cut it down because it was cracking the foundation. And then cut it down again, and again, and again. <laughs> I think I finally got it killed. Anyone who's dealt with Siberian elm knows exactly what I'm talking about. So anyway, uh, this space, especially right in here, I've been just kind of, you know, throwing yard waste here and letting it compost. And I got thinking, what could I put here that wouldn't mind having very little light? Mushrooms. <laughs> so, basically continue what I've been doing put stuff here that will compost, but use mushrooms to do the composting. So I could do like some sticks, maybe some sawdust, straw, that sort of thing that mushrooms like. The mushrooms will consume it, produce fruiting bodies that I can harvest, and then you know, over time I could shovel the material out into the rest of the garden here and then put more down to be composted. What'd be wrong with that? Seems simple enough. Let's get to it. Okay, so I got some more of the bricks laid out. I've divided it up into two sections here. I'm thinking wine cap mushrooms there, oyster mushrooms here. Okay, so I have here a five pound block of sawdust, which is inoculated with the wine cap mushroom mycelium. I'm gonna open this up and use this to inoculate my bed. Looks like it might even be trying to fruit here. It's got little pins coming up. But we're not too worried about that right now. I'm gonna take this mycelium. For starters, I'm gonna put some in this log here. <laughs> Why not? We'll start off by throwing in some straw. That's the base. Okay. Now I'll take a handful of this mycelium, sprinkle it about. Now for some sticks that I cut up earlier. Got to make sure there's not too much uh, large air spaces. So I'll fill those in with straw. So I'll pack straw in between the branches. I'm going to take my hose, water it down. Okay. Water's more effective at packing it down than I am walking on it. So now that I've got it all wetted, I'm going to add some more straw, more sticks, maybe less sticks. Build up another layer. Keep doing this until the bed is full. Okay, so that's the final layer. It's just straw this time to act as mulch. 
keep things wet. I'll wet it down. And then that's pretty much it. This will be done and I just gotta wait for the mushrooms. <laughs> I will of course do the exact same thing for the uh, oyster mushrooms in the bed behind me. Well, I've got it all put together. As you can see, I've begun putting in some more plants. And uh, the mushrooms, I decided to flip these bricks to kind of give an extra barrier between them. You know, they might fight each other, I guess. <laughs> As it is, the mycelium might go off into the rest of the garden. I'd say that's okay. <laughs> might uh, end up with mushrooms over here, too. But yeah, that's it. I don't know if this will work or not. In theory, it should. Assuming they don't get contaminated with something else. And we'll just uh, see what happens. Come back in a few months, maybe. All right, so as you can see, it's been a while. Let's give an update on those uh, mushroom beds, see what's going on. So first of all, you can see that in the middle of summer, we do get a little bit of light here, especially in the early morning. We've got some pumpkin plants that have grown up. I didn't plant these here, they must have been in the compost, but I'm letting them grow. You can see, they dig down in here. Yeah, it doesn't look so good. It's really... It doesn't have that white mycelium like I would like. And, when I'm looking at this, I see mushrooms. But I'm pretty sure that's the wrong kind of mushroom. Let's see, there's some more there. These are not wine cap mushrooms, though. So something else has taken over the bed. You see the barley has grown up as well. So I'm thinking that I should have cooked the straw. They say you don't need to, but... Well, I think I'm going to do it next time. This bed over here, though, see, that's got some mycelium in it. It smells like oyster mushroom. So this one might be working. You know, I don't see any mushrooms that are the wrong kind. So I think this one's working. The oyster mushrooms, I think, are okay. The 4th of July fireworks. I probably shouldn't have let those pumpkin plants grow. <laughs> this little garden's coming along. Very nice. But if we come over here, you can see, oh, there's a pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> but the reason I'm filming is, of course, I have mushrooms. <laughs> Look at that. These are the oyster mushrooms. A lovely little like, bouquet of mushrooms. If I got any more coming up over here. Nope. Just the uh I don't want to step on it. Any of these coming up? I think we decided in the last clip that the Wine cap mushrooms got taken over by something else. Yeah, I don't see anything. Yeah, it looks pretty nasty. But the oysters worked. <laughs> That's lovely. Okay, I'm gonna get some more pictures of it. And then I guess uh, find my knife and pick them. Okay, found the knife. Let's cut this off. It's tougher than I expected. There we go. Isn't that lovely? Let's see if I can tip 
it over so you can see the underside. It's got a lot of straw attached to it. That's cool. I wish I could save it, but it ain't gonna keep. Let's uh, pull out this other one here. I wonder if I can just rip it out. Appears to have gone underneath that block. Oh well. <laughs> There's that. So may as well pick that one as well. Let's take this all in, put it on a scale, and see how much in terms of weight we have here. So I got the mushrooms in my kitchen. You can see I've picked off most of the straw. Still a little bit on here, but I've got the majority of it. Let's set this mushroom material on the scale. So there's 144 grams right there. That's pretty good. Okay, now let's put this uh, big one on there. What do we end up with? That's 1,048 grams. Over a kilogram. It's like 2.3 pounds of mushroom right here. That's pretty good considering basically did no work. I just piled up some sticks and straw in the corner of my garden and watered it. I think I put this together in June. And it's currently late August, so it took a couple of months. Might have been able to time it better, but it worked. Look at this. It's as big as my head. <laughs> well, let's go cook it. It's interesting how working with these mushrooms, my skin feels like I've been playing with some sort of caustic soda. taste. Mmm. Okay. A little bit more chewy. Flavor's more earthy. And maybe even a little bit more savory than the mushrooms I grew on the wood blocks. Perhaps that's a consequence of growing in straw or the fact they're outside in contact with dirt. So, I actually think they're better. You also saw that I canned some of the mushrooms. Right here, I just uh, canned them in vegetable broth. 
one pound per jar. These are one quart jars. And I managed to make two of them. It's kind of a lot of mushrooms, but it turns out I actually don't have any of the pint jars handy. So, but anyway, uh, it's very simple. Just throw in some noodles as well as some leafy stuff. And I got instant mushroom soup. And uh, that mushroom bed will continue to fruit. It'll probably have another flush in the spring, maybe in the fall if I'm lucky. And my next flush might even be larger than this one. So I've got that to look forward to. And of course, that mushroom patch will be there for potentially many years. I can just keep feeding it and it'll keep making mushrooms. The other one that failed, well, I'm probably just gonna dig that out here in the fall and then try again. You know, maybe I'll try something different. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.